Yes, it is a reaction Monday, Monday morning quarterback, if you will. This is after a weekend away to process a development out of the Idaho Republican Party. Back on Friday, we discussed the departures of leadership with the Ada County Republican Party. The county chair, three vice chairs, treasurer, and a state committee woman in a group resignation letter said that they're out. And the departing letters accuse the Idaho Republican Party, Idaho GOP state leadership of unethical behavior, including bullying, intimidation, leaking of confidential documents, and actively undermining the Ada County Party's effectiveness and legitimacy. We went in depth on the issue and that the now resigned see with the county party and kind of what they see uh, issues with at the state party level as well. And we encourage you to go read that full report. It's available right now at KTVB.com. Here on Monday, though, I've finally gotten some responses from the Idaho GOP and the Ada County Republicans. The responses here uh, today, and they told us that they were surprised by the sudden action of the county chair, the three vice chairs, the treasurer, and a state committee woman. And we'll start with the Ada County Republican Central Committee's response. And to go back to Friday, I want to better describe the departure in terms of the structure of the county party. So six people left, which matters, but it is a large political group, as the Ada County GOP tells us. Today, quote, the Ada County Republican Central Committee Board consists of 21 members, nine officers, 11 legislative district chairs, and the Region 4 chair. So you can see the breakdown on your screen there. So simple math, six members left. In the statement from the county's party publicity chair tells us today, the remaining 15 voting members of the executive board disagree with the small minority group of six officers who abandoned their leadership posts at a critical time. The rest of our central committee is working hard to help capable leadership with the next municipal election. Statement goes on to say some action items, quote, the resignations of the six officers have triggered a necessary financial review. We will meet soon to finish the fill the vacancies, finish the work on this pivotal election and establish a path to move forward as a more unified county committee. So we will circle back with the Ada County GOP soon. They have to do some financial reviews and get some more specifics there. So we will get back to them, though. Meanwhile, the Idaho GOP, the state party, they also responded today when the Ada team left, the six officers listed five core reasons for why they were stepping down, and each of those points have been addressed in the response today by the state party, but uh, we don't have time to go through the entire letter, but I'll tell you this. The bottom line here, it can be summed up in the final paragraph in the Idaho GOP statement, saying, quote, these accusations from the former officers are little more than projection and sour grapes from an old guard that is angry about losing their own power. The Idaho Republican Party will continue fighting for faith, family, and freedom and representing everyone who stands for Idaho values.